suitcase players. Thank you very much, Joe. I'm here with Otto Amne and Trashy after that victory. Uh, congratulations, guys. You guys had already locked in your spot for the promotion tournament. Thank but you. it must be nice icing on the cake to win here on this stage. Yeah, of course. Five. Of course. We, we go into every game by the, the mindset to win. So. Yeah, and uh, but uh, you guys went into the first two games with a mindset to win very surely. So what happened then after that series, maybe? Um, from my perspective, I think what went wrong was that we went from like early game picks to more scaling picks and we just took really wrong fights and that turn just we, we made a lot of mistakes and we as a team we're not as good but individually we're really good so uh, we just went back to the strong early game picks and then just pulled the game. Yeah and Otto Omni you're a fantastic top laner why didn't you go for that tree every time around? Uh, basically, we thought we could play around it and secure other picks uh, that fit well into our team fights. And we just thought that we could uh, play around the Maokai and try to ignore him in team fights or go for the back line and stuff like that. But it didn't really work out. So, uh, Trashy, you've obviously not been with the team as long as, for instance, Odawamne. How has the journey been with these guys? How have you seen them grow? Uh, like, first, when they started playing without me, when they played with Ku, uh, I was playing in recent gaming, so I was like playing against them. and. I uh, actually built up a lot of um, friendship with them, so it was I was kind of happy playing with them, and I, I like I love playing with them all. So I'm really happy to get the chance to play with them, and they're really skilled players. Yeah, it's 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 looking great for you guys. And Odawamne, you were of course here in your Cloud9 Eclipse facing the Super Hot Crew. How what is the biggest thing you you think with the team that you've learned not to make the same mistakes again going into promotion? Uh, basically, when we went in promotions last time, we were a new team, inexperienced with a big stage with best of five formats and general temp team play. So. The past six months, we just practiced really hard and we improved our team fights and everything related to team play. So we're really experienced right now. Yeah, how has that been like for you, Trashy, to be up uh, on stage and obviously playing for, for the biggest prize? Uh, well, I was in London, so that was a really fun experience. But just in general, I love playing on the stage. Uh, it's what I aim for is on, on the LCS you play on stage. So that is what I like. And I know, I know I perform well on stage, so I'm not even worried about it. So I actually want to follow up on that because you talk about London. I asked Febivin in London, you know, are you guys going to make it to the LCS? Very confident, 100% sure. So Odoamne going into it, if you see the possible opponents you could go up against, so the Copenhagen Wolves Gambit and then Millennium or Super Hot Crew, what do you think of those possible opponents? Uh, I think it's not about the opponent. Uh, it's more about how we perform in going into those games. And we will practice really hard this month. We will go into a gaming house. We will have Wung help us as a coach to improve our team play and everything. And I think we will have a pretty good shot this time going into the LCS. All right, well, I wish you guys the best of luck. Fantastic series here. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you. All right, that was it from our winners here. We're going to head back over to Joe and the Fischio.